Assam, a treasure trove of natural beauty and diverse history, is one of the least explored regions in the country, lending it an immaculate, untouched aura that is sure to allure you. A land of wild forests, mighty rivers, and acres and acres of tea plantations, Assam, located in northeast India, has a breathtaking landscape and is known to be one of the top biodiversity hotspots in the entire world. Before starting about the drink, I would like to talk about its history. So here it goes. So Miti Omam was a beautiful fairy. One day in Miti Mijo, her breast milk spilled all over the land. This was the land of fragrance. So there were many plants and flowers. They grew abundantly wherever the milk spilled. This milk was collected by Engo Takar Karmi, the wife of Abotani. She stored the milk in container for several days, but the milk remained unchanged. Eager to see what happens to the breast milk, she collected some plants. The plants were pounded into a powder and with addition of water made into cakes and named Ipob. After drying, the cakes were grinded to fine powder and then mixed with milk. On third day, the mixture started producing sweet fragrance. The fragrance was so strong that it felt into surrounding environment. All creatures, spirits, good and evil, and people from the region came to see the fragrant product of fermentation of breast milk. This alcoholic product is named a pong. A pong is more than a drink. This product has been integral part of the social, cultural and religious life of the missing people. To make you understand this better, I have with me Abhinash, who is from Assam and knows the drink inside out. Yeah, so basically there are two types of apongs. Okay, like apong we call it in our missing culture, in our missing tradition. Actually, what is it? Apong is two types. One is the poro apong, which is the color of the apong, which is called the Assam Vishnu, which is called Saimot. That means that the poro apong is the color of the apong. हे को जला के उसको फिल्टर करके उसके बनाते हैं और दूसरा वाला है नोगिंग अपॉन्ग जो आसम इसमें उसको हार्ड बोलते हैं जो सफ़ेद वाला जिसको वो फर्मेंटेड राइस से राइस को फर्मेंट करके बॉल्स बनाके फिर उसको फिल्टर करके वो निकालते हैं और रोही जो है रोही ये होता है कि जो जो हाथ का मतलब जो वो फर्मेंटेड राइस का पहला वाला बैच होता है ना पहला वाला बैच तो पूरा गारा होता है वो वाला रोही होता है एक्चुअली डेट वन इस फेरी स्वीट एंड लाइक द उसके बाद और जो फिल्टर करते हैं तो वो लाइटर लाइटर हो जाता है वो उससे हाथ बनता है जो नोगिंग अपॉन है वैसे नोगिंग अपॉन का टेस्ट ऑलमोस्ट मतलब वो जैसे देखो अभी जो स्वीट चीज़ है उसको तुम फिल्टर करते रहोगे करते रहोगे तो उससे ये चली जाती है लेकिन थोड़ा एक आफ्टर फ्लेवर रह जाता है ना वो ऐसा टेस्ट होता है और जो पोरा आपों है जो काला वाला साई मोड वो क्या होता है कि उसका टेस्ट ऑलमोस्ट नॉट टू टेंगी आल्सो नॉट तो बिटर आल्सो बिटर तो होता ही नहीं है पर एक पिकुलियर टेस्ट है उसका और ऐसा बोला जाता है हमारे ट्रेडिशन में कि अगर मतलब वो पीने से जो काला वाला साई मोड वो पीने से वो मतलब डाइजेशन और फिर पेट का कोई भी प्रॉब्लम हो वो ठीक हो जाता है ऐसे मतलब हमारे गांव में वहाँ मतलब मानते हैं ये लोग I don't think after this I need to further explain the drink but well I never miss out on the technical stuff so a pong is a local drink of Assam made by the missing people the preparation of this drink is an exclusive domain of the women there are two types of a pong poro a pong and nogin a pong the poro apong is prepared from glutinous or sticky rice. Paddy husk and dry paddy straw is partially burned and is collected in a container. Cooked rice is spread on a kopak ane. After cooling, rice is mixed with the husk. Ipob, the starter culture, is made from 25 different plant varieties. It is pounded in a fine powder and then mixed with the mixture of rice and husk. Now it is kept on a killing. This pot is fumigated before the use for fermentation of this drink. The pot is closed from top using dried straw and leaves. Now, Poro Apong is extracted in a cone-shaped bamboo basket called Tasuk. 
It is hung from a post and its walls are covered with banana leaves. This works as a filter. Mixture is taken out and put in the tasok and water is added consistently. Water extracts the soluble components including alcohol while it passes through and gets collected in the pot beneath. The leftover in tasok is used to feed pigs or as a fish bait. Locals claim poro upon a day can prevent formation of kidney stones. Nogin apong is made from a mixture of cooked rice and epop. The process is similar to poro apong. The only difference is not the addition of husk which provides the drink milky white color. Apong is integral component of the social life of the Mising people and also used in marriage rituals and festival. Epop and apong are indispensable and uphold cultural identity of the Mising community. The use of apong is highly patterned that also reflect division of labor and women empowerment in meeting society. This local drink is accepted well by all cultures in the northern eastern region of India. So this is all from my side until next time do like the video share it we'll be coming up with more content soon so don't forget to subscribe.